basic queries, frequently referred to as term level queries, run against the exact values stored in the field. The opposite is a query that works on analyzed text stored in a text field, where the query runs against fragments of the text called tokens, which we'll see in the next section. Term level queries cover criteria like matching a string or number exactly, matching a range of values such as a numeric field between one and five, or matching text using a wildcard. Some of these queries can be very costly to run. Elasticsearch even labels some as expensive and provides a cluster-wide setting to prevent these expensive queries from being allowed to run. The default for this is to allow expensive queries to run. So be very careful when using expensive queries in your production cluster, as you could end up with high resource utilization. We'll build some basic queries for the Olympic events dataset in this lesson. Let's start by having a look at the index mapping. There are a few different field types in this index, but we're going to focus on fields with a type of keyword or long for this first lesson. Let's work with city and ID for now. Looking at the first 10 documents in the index by running a match or query, we can see the data. There's a whole lot of data in this index, so I'll work through filtering the documents to a set we're interested in. During these lessons, it'll be important to track the number of total hits so we can see where the number changes when experimenting with different queries. The number of hits returned in the total block is, by default, a rough guide. Elasticsearch is showing that there's at least 10,000 hits for the match all query. We can tell Elasticsearch to provide the exact number of hits by adding a track total hits key with a value of true to the request body. We can now see there are 271,116 hits in total. If we wanted to find only the documents with the value of London in the city field, we would need a different type of query. This match all query is matching all documents, and that's the part we need to replace with something else. The core query type for this type of exact matching on a keyword field is a term query. The term query is very easy to use and works great for a lot of simple matches like this. The name of the field we're matching against is the next key name. Field names are case sensitive. We won't get any hits if we spell city with a lowercase c. The next key value pair is value and the value we want to match. The value we want matched is also case sensitive. London with a capital L will find some documents. London with a lowercase l won't find any. You can run a case insensitive search by specifying a case underscore insensitive key with the value of true. This will find documents containing London with a capital L, even if we gave a value with a lowercase l. When matching text, term queries should only be used against a keyword field. The text field type contains analyzed text and requires a different type of query, which we'll discuss later. Term queries won't match analyzed text, as I show here. Term queries can also match other field types, like numeric values, IP addresses, and booleans. We can find all documents with a certain ID field value using a term query. There's a close relative of the term query that can be used to match multiple values in a single field. To find documents with a city value of either London or Athena, we can use a terms query. The structure here is slightly different. There's no value key, so we simply provide an array of values against the field name like this. The number of hits goes up from 22,426 to 37,982. A downside of the terms query though, is that we can't run a case insensitive query. There's a configurable maximum number of terms you can include in a terms query. It's 65,536 by default, which is more than enough for most people. You're likely to hit a problem with the request payload size before getting anywhere near this maximum value. To work around this though, you can store the terms you want to search for in a document in a separate index, then tell the terms query to fetch the terms from that document. This is called a terms lookup. This feature is quite niche, and I'm not sure if you could expect an exam question on it. It did, however, form an answer for a great lab question during an Elastic Community Conference, and even won me some swag. There are some other query types you can use to match keyword fields using non-exact criteria. These are all considered expensive by Elasticsearch, but it's worth knowing about them in case your use case requires them and your cluster doesn't suffer performance issues when using them. The main query types in this category are wildcard, prefix, regexp, and fuzzy. 
All these expensive queries work with keyword fields, but just because you can doesn't mean you should. If you find yourself needing functionality offered by these queries, it may be worth using a text field. We'll see more on that in the section on full text search.